like trash. <laughs> Hey guys, today is going to be a Mr. Dose day. And for those of you who don't know what a Mr. Dose is, MR, Mr., and Dose is two in Spanish. So it's Mr. Dose. Glad we got that out of the way. Okay, so if you're not caught up on my channel with where I am on the Project MR2, I'll put a link up above to get you kind of caught up to where we're at today. So yesterday I took a down day. I went and got my nails done. They're crazy, they're like pink chrome. And I went clothes shopping, did a wardrobe change, and I just needed a girl day really bad. So, but today, it's time to get serious, put in work. I'm not gonna make any promises on how much progress I'll get done because those of you that know the track record of this MR2, every time I take a step forward, I take two steps back. So, either way, I'm putting in work today and we're just going straight to it right now, so. housing right here is the back side of the water pump housing. This piece is separate from the block and there's an o-ring deep inside here that I need to get but I need to remove this to be able to get to it. The problem is there's a nut on this pipe that goes to the back side. This nut is rounded off and it's impossible to get to. A few moments later So I managed to get the oil cooler off thanks to one of my Instagram subscribers. I feel like an idiot. I didn't know the oil cooler separates into two separate pieces. It's a 30 millimeter socket in the center and the thing comes apart. I thought you just had to unbolt the whole thing or remove it. So I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know it comes apart into two pieces. So I got the oil cooler separated into two pieces, got the top half off so I can gain access to this 10 millimeter bolt on the backside of the coolant housing and it's so rounded off I can't get a wrench on it. It sucks. I've been fighting with it for the past hour now trying to figure out different ways to get a wrench on there. Tried like hammering a wrench onto it and like I don't have a torch so I can't heat up the bolt. pipe right here. I need to pry this away from this housing but I have to be very careful that I don't mar the gasket surface down lower. Right here in the middle it doesn't matter because that's not a gasket surface so I can pry up here. This silver part of the pipe right here there's an o-ring on there and it's really tough to pry out like I'm really struggling to separate it. I can definitely see why this thing was leaking. It was disgusting. Like you can see around where the O-ring is at, it's really nasty where it mounts against the block and where the actual water pump bolts to it were just like really nasty and old and corroded and the area where the O-rings are at, the O-rings are trash on this thing and the O-ring areas are really nasty. I cleaned up the gasket surface, blah blah. Now this is the gasket surface where the water pump bolts to, so I cleaned that up really well. This is the o-ring. This area that I just showed, it was nasty, I cleaned that up also as well, and I gotta replace that o-ring still. So I'm gonna pull that out of there, put a new o-ring in there, and then this little tunnel right here is where the coolant line behind the turbo slides into that, and there's an o-ring inside there too, so I cleaned that up really well with some emery cloth and. I used the wire wheel on the Dremel, got it nice and smooth. I mean, it feels fairly smooth, about as smooth as it was originally.
one of the O-rings that I need for right here. But, see, the problem is the O-ring that goes inside that housing right there, it, the kit didn't come with this. And I have this little O-ring kit right here, but if you look at them, they're different diameters. So I'm gonna go to the hardware store and see if I can get this O-ring right here. And if I can't, then I'm gonna have to go to like the auto parts stores and try to see if they have one. And then I might end up having to order one. So, fingers crossed, because I want to get this back together in this video. I don't know how it's going to be possible, but one day I will own that car. Well, me and me, not that one, that's a press car. But I want that car. So before I reassemble this, the way this goes together is like this. So this is a water pump, and this is the inner water pump housing that sits inside the block. And that hole right there is where your thermostat goes. Now when this was removed, you just unbolt the water pump and the gasket is in between here. And this inner portion just stays inside the block. So my thought process is, and I've already test fit this to make sure it works, is I'm going to assemble both halves of the water pump together. I'm gonna to put a new gasket in there and seal it so this is permanently sealed as one unit. And then I'm going to slide this into the block. That way there's less surfaces I have to worry about disrupting with the sealant because I gotta slide this all in at the same time or do it like really quickly so that way the sealant doesn't dry. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna assemble this thing as a unit, seal it up, and then put it in the block and tighten it down. So. <laughs> Here goes nothing. a bigger bag of assholes right now. She just got home from work and she's been up since like three or something in the morning. And y'all know I've been working on Mr. Dose all day. But I, I, <laughs> I, I'm not that dirty today. Normally I'm way more dirty than this. Did you order pizza? Pizza guy. No, I wish I did. <laughs> I'm kinda hungry. Do you want to? I'm starving. Do you want me to order pizza? The MR2 is ready to put coolant in it. I have all the coolant hoses hooked up. Now I don't have the timing belt done yet. I'm just leaving it hanging because I want to put coolant in the car first and see if anything leaks before I go and put the timing belt back on because that would be kind of ridiculous to put it all back together and then have it leak. So I, I'm ready. I'm ready to put coolant in it and see if this is fixed. I'm going to go underneath the car though because there's a hose clamp near the clutch line that I need to replace because I saw a couple people leave comments about it. They're like, hey, you have a hose clamp that's loose. I left it loose so I would remember to change out. And Sarah and I are going to eat pizza and be fat girls. Yeah, fat girls. <laughs> I'm excited. I've been going to the gym so I can eat like trash. <laughs> do do do. I got my new Burke downpipe. I just tightened up the last hose clamp under the car. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I got all the hose clamps. And it's time to put some coolant in this thing and see if I fix the leak. I hope this was it. I hope. All right. 
Moment, moment of truth. I don't want to jinx myself, but I think, I think I fixed it. I think, I think what I want to do though is I want to let it sit overnight with coolant in there. So I'm not going to put the timing belt on or anything else. I'm going to leave it where it's at just to make sure. Open sesame. What? I do weird things. So it's the next morning and came out here to check on the MR too. So let's see if this thing leaked. I hope it didn't. The moment of truth. It's looking kind of dry down here. It's bone dry. Did not leak. Good. So that looks like a win. <laughs> Yay. All right, so I'm gonna go to the store today. Uh, I'm gonna pick up a few more things so I can finish doing this and finish putting it back together. So I might do another MR2 video right after this one and then the TT, I think. I think I might just wrap this MR2 up and get the rest of it put back together. Ooh, there's one thing I wanna show you guys too. This is really important, especially for you guys that like watch every single one of my videos. It's important for everyone, but you guys definitely are gonna like this. So let me go inside and show you. Ugh. Okay, so this, this is something that I've been wanting for my channel for quite a while. And because of my Patreon supporters, and because of you guys watching my videos, obviously, I was finally able to buy one. So I got myself a MacBook Pro. So I'm going to be switching over to editing my videos with Final Cut Pro. I have been using Sony Movie Studio 13 with my desktop PC, and I was having a lot of issues lately, and the biggest issue is the fact that I can't edit on the go because it's a desktop, I didn't have a laptop, and my rendering problems were a huge issue too. I like, I would say average, I probably spend maybe two to four hours additionally a week waiting just for rendering alone. So I switched to Final Cut Pro because it's extremely fast rendering times. So I have to learn this new software first. So the video you're watching right now is edited with Sony on my desktop, but I'm gonna be switching over to Final Cut, my MacBook Pro pretty soon, which also allows me to travel now because I have a laptop. So I'm really excited and I have to thank you guys because it wouldn't be possible to buy this if it wasn't for you guys. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video and I will get back to wrenching on some stuff. So I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.